Thanks. <laughs> look at that one look and they're pissed off already. Jesus. <laughs> Um, yeah, I should I should clarify. I, this isn't my material. Um, this is a list of the people in the audience that don't like gingers. <laughs> so thanks for having me. <laughs> isn't Paul doing a good job? Yeah. Yeah. Me and the other guys were saying about how good he is. One of them said he's wasted doing shows like this. I said he certainly looks it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not uh, I'm not good at dealing with hecklers. Um, guy heckled me once saying I was rubbish, and the first thing I said to him was, I'm not being funny. (laughs) Nice guy came up to me after that show. He said to me, when was the most recent gig you did? I said, about five minutes ago. (laughs) It's a difficult difficult job, though. Um, I did a gig once. Someone put loads of little pins all over the floor, and I stepped in between them, and then I got done for tax evasion. (laughs) <laughs> that's a new record for the first face palm cheers thanks <laughs> speaking of work i had a job interview recently to be a professional negotiator initially they said no but i talked them round. <laughs> ironic isn't it if you if you have a job making board games it's actually good to be counterproductive I'm I'm unemployed, can you tell? Um, (laughs) This guy built me a place to live, and when he finished, I said, how much for a chimney? And he said, it's on the house. (laughs) (laughs) It's funnier than I thought. Um... (laughs) I think it'd be great to have a nice job like uh, making greetings cards. Yeah, I'd love to be a cardiologist. (laughs) I got... That was for the hard of hearing of you, yeah? (laughs) Yeah, so I appreciate this this is... This is pretty quiet, isn't it? So, yeah... I've got a friend who's a police officer. He's very busy. Ironically. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Cheers. Right. <laughs> I've got a friend who's a police officer. <laughs> I've got a friend who's a police officer. He's very, very busy. Ironically, he rarely gets a rest. <laughs> you know, that was funnier, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my dad is my dad is genuinely a mechanic and uh, I remember I said to him once, can you help me out? I went into the back of a woman at a roundabout and he said, look, as long as it was consensual, it's fine. (laughs) (laughs) I went to see my manager at work this week and he was sick on me and I said, look, when I said I wanted your feedback. (laughs) It's very, because it's very important to listen to people. I was at the train station once and this girl said, mind the gap, and I didn't listen and now she's pregnant. (laughs) Okay, if you like jokes about weird sexual fetishes, (laughs) strap on. (laughs) Some people just don't appreciate good help, do they? Like, I always like to um, help um, the elderly disembark from buses, you know, but then when you tell people that you like to get off with old people... (laughs) A bit of advice for the single people here. Any person that looks after animals in a zoo is definitely a keeper. <laughs> My, uh, they're dropping like flies, Jesus. Um, 
my last girlfriend, I gave her a nickname. I called her the TARDIS because once I was inside, she seemed a lot bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag single. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you a guy who's kinky, Ray Davis. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> too young an audience, okay. Have you noticed, if uh, Benedict Cumberbatch changed his name by deed poll, he'd then become an ex-Benedict. <laughs> mm, yeah, I wouldn't pay to see me either, don't worry. Um <laughs> Shall we um, stick with music and have another one that someone understand? I'm doing it, anyway. Um, <laughs> the, the singer of My Chemical Romance conquered his alcohol addiction because that's the Gerard way. <laughs> Thank you, ten people. Cheers. <laughs> I saw my uh, guitar teacher this week and I bought, him, I bought him one of those extension leads, you know, and he said no when I said about power chords. Uh, <laughs> I'll be done soon, don't worry. Um, I went to a gig recently with a friend of mine who's uh, bisexual, and we went and stood with the other bystanders. <laughs> Last week I did a football tour of the UK. I went to Sheffield Wednesday. <laughs> Any sports fans here? This one's for you. I've made a decision. I've decided to boycott cricketers called Jeffrey. <laughs> yeah, I like to go, you know, a little bit niche sometimes, you know. I remember me and my friend were putting a play together once and I said to him, what about this actress from the north of England? And he said, Doncaster. <laughs> It's a, it's a town in the north of England. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I, I appreciate this is difficult to follow, so yeah, no worries. I remember I went, uh, I went camping in the north once, um, but I, the police found drugs on me and I got charged for possession with intent. <laughs> it's really nice. Um, my friend uh, bought me tickets to fly to one of the United States, so now I owe her. <laughs> Speaking of, um, speaking of geography, I never thought there'd be a mouthwash just for UKIP voters, but then I found out about Listerine Advanced White. <laughs> <laughs> mind you, mind you, I say that. I was in a shop recently and I saw a label that I thought was telling foreigners to go away, and then I realised it said shoe polish. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my, uh, my grandmother, she votes UKIP. She has this thing. Every so often, she does this. Yeah. She's, she's from Nantwich. And, uh, <laughs> she, uh, she, she got put in hospital recently for eating Vaseline. She's now in intensive care. <laughs> speaking of... Speaking of... Speaking of food, this week I went to a barbecue and after waiting for 20 minutes, I finally got my hair cut. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, I used to eat alphabet spaghetti that spelled out the words up thrust, air resistance and gravity. I was force fed. <laughs> I had to... I had to see my uh, dentist this week. Eventually she said, I'm going to put you under now, because you went on top last time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my friend was telling me that yesterday he ran over 10 miles, and I said, wow, I've not even met 10 people called Miles. <laughs> <coughs> oh, dear. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> Right, um, as audiences go, you guys have been absolutely enough. So, shall we... <laughs> shall we have a couple of j more jokes that not everyone will understand? <laughs> yeah, right, so firstly, um, I've got a friend who's not very good at drawing. I remember once he tried to draw a Pokemon and it was ghastly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely young folk in tonight, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Secondly, um, there's a gym near where I live, and it's called Life Gym, but recently it's been refurbished, so nowadays it's Life Gym, but not as we know it. 
Blimey, okay. Um, <laughs> I'll just leave you with this because, um, you know, I enjoy doing comedy, um, sort of. Um, and, uh, <laughs> but in, in um, America, they talk about British comedy invasions, don't they? And it makes me think, well, if there's two things we're good at. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was a nice low note to end on. So, yeah, thanks. I've been David Luck. You guys have been awesome. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>